guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? And we are back with another episode of How About Them Celtics Seminary here recording Friday, April 5th, after the Celtics 101-100 win over the Sacramento Kings. Uh, before we get into everything, make sure to leave a like on the video. We'd appreciate it very much. Subscribe to the How About Them Celtics YouTube channel. Comment what's popping for a chance to win a $10 in Pop Nito gift card. Uh, and use code CLNS on price picks for deposit matching. And uh, anyways, Sam, I think this might have been the most ridiculous game of the season. Uh, this <laughs> on, one of the funniest. And a little side note before we start, the Bucks are about to lose to the 15-game losing streak Raptors. Just in <sighs> case you want. What's the score? They are down five with two seconds to play. <clears throat> wow. Doc Rivers masterclass. At man. home. Dame's return game. Yes. <laughs> Um, meanwhile, the Celtics third stringers <laughs> just sent the Kings back into the play in tournament, <laughs> uh, or at least dropping down the standings into the play in tournament. The Celtics, uh, first of all, the Celtics, Celtics, as in the Celtics team that we have been covering all season, whomped the Kings. They said, You guys they think sure we're gonna overcome a Sam Hauser <laughs> disaster class, <laughs> uh, and still beat you by 20. Um, the Celtics second and third stringers, on the other hand, did not want the Kings. They lost the fourth quarter. Jason Tatum came out, I believe, with like nine minutes to go in the game. Um, and the Kings won the fourth quarter and, and made this a game at the end. They took the lead with a few seconds left. They won the fourth quarter by 11 points. Um, De'Aaron Fox had 12. Um, meanwhile, Jason Tatum only played two minutes. Um uh, and nobody else from the starting lineup outside of, or I should say the regular starting lineup, like Drew Holiday and Christoph Porzingis um, did not play. And Al Horford did not play in the fourth quarter. Um, Tatum didn't score a point. And <laughs> the Kings still <laughs> lost. <laughs> the Kings who are fighting desperately to stay out of the play in tournament. If they had won this game, they would have been half a game behind the Pelicans uh, in seventh place and one game out of the sixth seed. Instead, they are now one and a half games out of the sixth seed in the full game behind the Pelicans, now tied uh, with the Lakers for their record on the season. And they lost two. <laughs> this is what they're talking about, by the way. I, I had to go on their subreddit and didn't see because I was like, this is actually kind of a brutal loss. Like, you just lost to Xavier Tillman. For audio listeners, uh, Sam has pulled up an image of Sfi Mikhailu slapping uh Kobe Jones he's doing Chris a face bomb across Kobe the face. Jones. um is it Chris Duarte or Kobe Jones I think it's Chris Duarte I think I missed no that's not Duarte uh, that's Jones Kobe Jones um on what could have been a tip in uh at the end of the game uh <laughs> instead the, the Kings <laughs> the Kings <laughs> lost to an Xavier Tillman game winner I'm making Tillman the thumbnail of this video I don't give a fuck he's the thumbnail <laughs> Xavier Tillman, this more is... game winners this year than Tatum. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Fuck you. Leads the, the Celtics problem. in game winners. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> He's the only one, I right? You. I hate you. I hate you. I hate this you. is the I hate first you. time the Celtics have gone ahead on uh, a shot in like the last 10 seconds, I think. <laughs> let me look Well, up. no, Jalen made the one these in Atlanta before Murray, but... <clears throat> I think That's if true. we're counting game winners that aren't actually game winners, I feel like Tatum... I guess, never mind. They were up at that point. He just killed the wolves in ot that one time but he didn't hit oh a game no no, no that um, that wolves performance was elite from tatum it was fire but yeah i think um, this is like the only one that stuck for a game winner in the last 10 i know seconds. i'm trying to i'm trying to filter by the clutch uh what do we do clutch we want to do filter for uh ahead or behind or tied in the last th we'll call it 30 seconds of the game uh by players on the celtics so this can is you, can you do last players 10? Yeah, I can do last 10, I guess, if we want to filter it down even more. Because like, that's like seconds, more of the final position shit that people get pissed at. Um, the, let me do total, not per game, so I can see how many people have made shots. Um, total this season. Tatum is two for nine. Not great. Brown is one of four. Porzingis is one of three. Uh, o of one from Cornette. O of one from Hauser. O of one from Horford. O of one from D. White. Mr. Xavier Tillman. 100%. One of one. Baby. One of one. <laughs> that was like... That was the craziest possession, too, because Hauser went in, completely sold. They have the ball find Tillman. Tillman starts Hauser to tipped go. it I'm out. Like, yeah, I was just like, oh, he's going a little bit early, isn't he? And then it finds the bottom there. I was like, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> they actually uh, need a go-ahead shot. <laughs> that never happens. 
I will say to uh, just before the the inevitable people of of yeah, look at that Tatum sucks it's coming just because we're gonna get a couple trolls. This was a very different situation than Tatum gets his shots off. T- Tillman got the ball off a rebound, but he he sunk that shit. He did make it. And when we're talking about Hauser, he was terrible tonight shooting the ball. He did everything else very well to his credit. Like if, if it like any other human on the planet shooting one of 13 from three probably wouldn't be too pleased and wouldn't have the energy to get a bunch of rebounds, actually play make pretty well in this game, tip out the, what uh, two Tillman would uh, for what would be the game winner. Uh, and he did all that stuff. So it's a credit to him uh, for, as Joe described, making an impact on um, more than just uh, as a score. But holy shit, Tillman had a game winner. This was this was maybe my favorite game in a long time. <laughs> this was it was so fucking funny. And it was uh, so stupid. Joe had the quote of the century after the game. <clears throat> Bobby Manning asked him, like, what were you thinking when you left those guys in? Like, like what was going through your head? He goes, This is fun. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this like, is fun. <laughs> couldn't simulate a better you must have read my article. <laughs> of stress and chaos that's why when those guys are in you hold them to the same standard as everyone else it's just <laughs> what the fuck are we doing no <laughs> i mean it is saying. fun because there's no stakes and you can kind of sit back and laugh like i didn't want this game to go to overtime like that was my stakes i'm happy yeah. they won and a win was the outcome that i would have selected but had they lost <laughs> this game it's not like i could come on here and be like why can't Sam Hauser close a game? <laughs> Why can't oh. Peyton Pritchard create it the buzzer? Yeah, for, for the comments. The floor is uh, yours. Yeah, okay. Uh, comments. I got an obscene amount of shit to the point where we were doing playback that night and it carried over and everyone was like, Jack's super mad. Why is Jack so mad? Because all you dumb motherfuckers <laughs> tried to tell me that Pritchard should have the ball to end the games. This man got maybe one shot off at the end of the game, and he got that shit swatted to oblivion by Sabonis. I don't want to hear shit from you guys anymore. Derek White, yes, absolutely. Chris Ops yes, absolutely. Tatum, I don't care what you say. Yes, you need him in the action. Mm. Jalen Brown, fine. Draw out of holiday, fine. Right? Tillman, sure. I, fuck. If you want to say Tillman at this point, fine. Tillman. You, he's got, you, you he's got the evidence. <laughs> you saw what happens when Pritchard takes a final shot. <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry. I love Pritchard. He had a good game. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. I was bummed that he didn't cook because I, I, I was in the camp that thought he would cook. I was not in the camp that thought he should be guaranteed to, you know, he shouldn't be somebody that you lean on in that situation. Yeah. But I thought in a fun, like, made up world like this game that he would be able to cook and, and get sure. clutch buckets. And I was kind of surprised that he wasn't able to. I still think he had a good defense, game overall. He had a great game, but it's just the defense sinks in and they, and they deny so much in these in these close moments. He was they getting blitzed. Get yeah, it's so tough, man. Um, yeah, but no more starting Tillman, for Hauser. <laughs> One of eight. I didn't. I so I hadn't looked at the box score when you mentioned Hauser being bad before, and I knew he was bad, but I didn't know he took eighteen shots. Holy fuck, brother! That's Tatum I mean, numbers. <laughs> To to his, I'm pretty sure Jared White said it after the game. He tied Tatum for the worst shooting performance in like. I was at the one of eighteen something. game from Tatum. And do you know what Joe said in response to that? <laughs> goes, what did he say? Brett, he goes, Brett Favre has the most touchdowns and the most interceptions. <laughs> this guy's like, Someone should have just like chimed in, been like, "So, which one of your players is going to commit tax fraud, Joe?" <laughs> um, for what it's worth, <laughs> Hauser as a starter this year, um. It doesn't tell me the cumulative stat. Uh, I can look it up, but um, Pritchard also said Pritchard. Pritchard had a great quote about it, and like after he said it about Sam Hauser, I should say, and after he said it, I was like, you know what? I kind of fucking believe him. Um, he was asked about, uh, I think Abby Chin asked him like, what are you guys telling Hauser? Like, did you guys say any anything to him to lift his confidence back back up while, while he's going through this? And he just goes, "Nope." <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, "I always look at this as a good thing." Sam to me is the best catch and shoot shooter in the league, uh, and this is going to come back around. He can go ten for ten. <laughs> we got to win with him missing as much as he did. If he shoots normally, this is probably a twenty point win. So this is probably a good sign because the next couple of games he's going to be on fire. And you know what? I fucking believe him. Like I t- truly believe Richard that Hauser is just going to come out next game and make every fucking shot he takes. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm looking at this box score and I'm thinking of our trivia game today with the uh, twenty points. Kristaps ten mm. shots. <laughs> Would have gotten you a good seven score? of ten. 
<laughs> would have gotten you a good score. Let me, all right, let me see. <clears throat> so I want to look at Sam Hauser. Can I choose just Hauser? I'm on stat head. And I, if you, I can't show you my setup right now, but I am on, I'm recording on like a tiny fucking table where my mic is like half on my computer and half on the table. And so I have my hand like under my microphone trying to use my trackpad, <laughs> trying to fucking figure out these stats like an idiot. <laughs> But uh, hold, please. This man Hauser you, shot five point six percent from the field. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam, they they won the game against they won. the team. Again, not only that, against they the were team trying, that was desperately <laughs> trying to win this game. <laughs> Dude, this, this this is why I wrote the article uh, today. Like, this is the type <laughs> of shit I was looking for, and oh they delivered. This is this is incredible. <laughs> so I'm really like upset with the amount or, or the lack of like salt in the Kings subreddit. They're just like mad at their own team. <laughs> Keegan Murray has the monkey <laughs> clapping symbols in his head. Dude, Trevor Haas, who was at the game, he's covering for something spoke with me too. Uh, looks over to me. He goes, Keegan Murray's confident. <laughs> It's like all he had to say. Can we okay. try out the Stockton Kings coach for one game? Might as well. <laughs> Let's see. There was this a couple was... other ones. I got to find them. I think this was the funniest game of the season. Okay. I found finally got there. Uh, I just had to use MB.com instead of Stathead. Sam Hauser, <clears throat> as a starter this season, I believe this includes tonight. Uh, it's actually 39 of 103 from three. So he's 38%. That's really not that bad. <laughs> uh, but he is 45 of 115, 39% from the field, uh, which is not very good. So, yeah, maybe, maybe don't start his house right now. Don't start him. Will Mike Brown be back next season if they lose in the play-in? <laughs> Looks like Sabonis and Murray will be dealt this summer. In the process, they'll need to find a way to keep Monk somehow. Everyone also shits on Fox about going up to talk post-game, but I'd love to see Sabonis, Keegan, or Barnes speak after this one. It's time for those dudes to step up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said at the start of the show, like the Celtics Celtics fucking killed the Kings. Like they killed them. This was not like and it was another Thunder game where <clears throat> except the Kings actually had their good players. Um where Celtics went out by a bunch, Kings made a run, then Celtics said psych we're back, and then the Kings made a run, then Celtics said psych we're really back, and then Joe threw in all the fucking third stringers, and the Kings said, No, we got this, <laughs> and then Tillman said, Go fuck yourself. <laughs> This is, Yo, this is do you know how do you know how fucking mad I'd be if my team was trying to get in the fucking playoffs and I had to watch Xavier Tillman hit a dagger against them off an offensive rebound tip out by the way I would be on this show screaming <laughs> I wouldn't have a voice tomorrow and Jack Jack and I probably would have had to take like a five minute break. <laughs> We would have needed a breather. <laughs> Till, Till, Tillman hits a fucking game winner, and then the Kings miss three shots, and Spee McKaylee slaps your player in the face <laughs> if you lose the game. <laughs> I'm crying. Hold up, I gotta pull yeah, up your team. The clip your team lost shot. a meaningful game while one of the other starters <laughs> shot one of eighteen. He shot five percent from the fucking field, dude. Football season may be over, but the action on the floor is heating up. Whether it's a tournament season or the fight for a playoff home court, there's no shortage of high-stakes basketball moments this time of year. Get in on the excitement with Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your hoops knowledge into serious cash. Testing my skills on Prize Picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Prize Picks is really simple to play, and I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Download the app today and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. This was the greatest game ever. I'm so happy we were like aligned on this because I was like just awesome. laughing like in front of my TV because I didn't care if they lost. It means nothing. 
<laughs> I want them to win all the games. Like I think it's gonna be sick if they yeah, end up winning sixty six. But like I don't know if they lose, they lose. It doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> this dude, I was. This was the ultimate. I don't give a fuck game. <laughs> Joe was like, you gotta figure if, it out. If you fuck. were in the pregame, you saw it. <laughs> Dude, the Kings got three shots in the last five seconds of the game. <laughs> they fucking missed them. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, just uh, My, if you're listening the to Celtics platforms, can't watch on YouTube. <laughs> secure rebounds at the end of games theory is red hot right here. It's just so a take a disease. look at this. This is what happens. We're gonna see three in a row. It's gonna jump. Close this to was also <laughs> go back to the beginning. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. are they okay? Yeah. He gets <laughs> fucking so burnt. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, Shaper set just fucking loses wait, thoughts wait, wait, in the wait, backcourt wait, 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 for no reason. <laughs> and then <laughs> good Pritchard, on Pritchard. Like, he played pretty how's solid plays, defense. Okay, help defense. Yeah, got him into a tough <laughs> shot. I mean. You talk about the offensive rebounds. It's O'Shea's fault because he was like halfway across the backcourt. Then Murray gets another tip in, and then no one's here boxing out Kobe Jones. And then Sp- here it <laughs> comes Wham! <laughs> I will say, on upon replay, it didn't have an impact on the shot at all. So I get why they didn't call it a foul. Like he had tipped it already. This was not like Mad, it did not impact they his call ability the foul? to the ball at all. Oh yeah, disaster! <laughs> wow. I will say, like is... I said it at the time, and I mean it. Credit to Svee for playing that help defense. I know he slapped him, but it, it like I genuinely don't think they, like I don't think this will be a foul on the two minute report. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it is after the like the, the the shot was gone. This is like when uh, it's like the high five on a shot, except oh, it except was just, on your face. Yeah, except yeah. It was his face. So I think it would be great if he went into concussion protocol. Look at Mike Brown on this play. Watch Mike Brown have a breakdown. What are we doing? <laughs> he goes in the crab. Oh, no. <laughs> the man's probably like coaching for his job, dude. Also, dude. like, listen, if I was a Kings fan, I would want to win all the games, but like you're getting you're getting hit with all the injuries now. I mean Damn Fox had 40 in this game. I definitely yeah. felt him. I definitely felt his presence. Make no mistake. He had a really good second well, half. He had a huge second well, quarter, a huge yeah. fourth quarter, but Dude. tough, tough, tough at the end of the game. He uh, needs some help. Very him brief, and LeBron. serious talk. Porzingis rocked. Yeah. Yes. Very brief, serious talk. Porzingis rocked uh, 2011, two and two steals. Tatum was kind of bad, but it didn't matter. 17, 6, and 5 on 5, 15, 1 of 6. Only took six threes. That's fine. It was a weird tail um, game. Like, <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't there. have an efficient night, but I didn't feel that he didn't have an efficient yeah. night. Like, he just was, like, letting the game come to him, and he was just like, ah, whatever. You were in on the Tatum game, too. You wanted us to take over or more than 29 and a half on the prize picks. <laughs> yeah, I was right about everything except Drew rebounds. <laughs> Drew, uh, one rebound off. He had 10, 4, and 7. He was solid. Horford. Um, was meh in this game three seven one of five. They really just couldn't hit their shots. They got like, especially at the beginning of the game, Celtics offense looked great. They just couldn't fucking make the shots. Uh, yeah, I kind of <laughs> with, with the way guess, this game ended, I kind of forgot how it started, which was ass. They sucked. They sucked. Three they points three in the points first in the timeout first window. Six minutes. Yeah. Um, and guess what, Sam? <laughs> they still fucking won. The they still game. won. They, they were only down like two points when that happened. Dude, this. Uh, Pritchard, 8 of 16, 5 of 10, 21, uh, 1, 3, 2 is good. Um, I stand by what I said. Sam Hauser was good outside of his shooting. It's just his shooting was so abhorrent that no one's going to notice anything else. This, this was and a learn Chinese game the, for Sam The worst Hauser. part is, I think almost all, like maybe 11 at least of the 13 threes he took were butt naked, wide open. Like they were leaving that guy. Which yeah, is, even the one I, he had in in the fourth quarter at the end, I thought was gonna go, and it just I didn't. did too. Yeah, and Kelvin's guess what? Three that dropped or didn't drop, I thought was gonna go in too. I it was Both of go. the misses looked good. His misses always looked oh. good. Yeah, sorry, Jake. Jake, Jake, Jake Eisenberg, head in hand. Um, I will say though, the Hauser has built up a big enough uh profile for me where like even though this game happened next game i still think every shot's going to go in i'm still going to think every single time he shoots the ball it's going to hit the bottom of the net um because he yeah rocks. i mean and so <clears throat> yeah i believe that in this game and i watched him mm. throw every single shot off the back of the rim so <laughs> when he fired up that shot at the end of the game i was like oh it's gonna go in yeah 
You know, Joe should actually no, he shouldn't because you got to keep him confident. I was gonna say just throw Drew Peterson in there, say your replacement's ready, Bucko. <laughs> You're gonna miss all your shots here. It's Drew Peterson, um, but nah, this was a uh, yeah. Dude. He's, he's just got Drew Peterson like breathing down his neck. Yeah, okay. I just he's like to... he he's just he's not even in the game, but like he's standing up on the Celtics bench. And he's just like, hey, don't miss the next one. I'm ready, dude. I just need to paint this picture one more time. Put your just put your feet. Or excuse me, put put like put yourself in the shoes of a Kings fan. You're fighting for your lives and your playoff lives. You're trying to stay out of the playing tournament. This would be a huge win or one of the best teams in the league. You have a great chance. You're on a huge run in the fourth quarter. Sam Hauser has played the most minutes of any player on the Celtics at 36-17. He has taken the most shots on the Celtics with 18 shots. He has made one of those 18 shots the entire game. And that one make was in the, what was it? Second quarter. <laughs> Second quarter. Third quarter. Sorry, third quarter. He didn't make the entire fourth, the entire first, or the entire second. Darren Fox plays 44 minutes, goes on a burner, and you fucking still <laughs> lose the game. By one point, because Xavier Tillman made a running floater in the lane after two offensive rebounds on the same possession. I like I, I can't stress enough how fucking hilarious that is. It's just, so this would be the greatest butterfly effect moment ever if like the Kings go into like a spiral, like have well, to rebuild this summer, like blow it up. Go into another Celtics, like sixteen year playoff drought just because Tillman hit a fucking floater against you in a game where the Celtics sat all their well, guys and you were desperately. Aaron Fox to win. looked hurt in this game. He he looked hurt at one point. Uh, and the Celtics this season, Sam, have ended a lot of relationships. Celtics beat the Raptors. They, they in fact traded. Have. Celtics beat the Raptors again. Pascal Siakam traded. Celtics beat the Hornets. Steve Clifford, see you later. I'm moving on after this season. Mike Brown, watch yourself. Your days are numbered, brother. You lose to the Celtics like this. Just there's the last possession of the game. Sam Hauser, Charles Lee. Take a look at this. Char- Charles Lee, you are a Sacramento King. <laughs> Just take a look at this. This is this is this is how you you're a Kings fan, desperately trying to get back in the playoffs, and this is how you. <laughs> This <laughs> lose the game. Sam Hauser puts that up and tips the ball out to Tillman because Keegan Murray can't hold on to it. This in this moment right here, I was like, ah, oh, damn, Celtics are gonna have to foul. Watch this. Celtics are gonna have to foul. Ah, oh, damn. How do we go from this? Sorry, audio listeners, watch on YouTube. How do we go from this to this so quickly? <laughs> How does that fucking happen? From from this? Oh yeah, we're good. We're gonna foul too. Oh no, we're losing the game. <laughs> And what is this? What is this? This is a this is 11 seconds left. Keegan Murray has the ball firmly in his hands. Celtics are gonna have to foul. Nine seconds left. Xavier Tillman's getting a wide open floater in the lane. <laughs> You're just so mad. That's just a disaster. And best this, part, Sam? Oh, Shaberset was right fucking there for three. Yeah, minutes. he was there. The the funniest, well, not the funniest part, that final possession. Reminds me of the Rondo winner a couple years ago when the Lakers were in town and it was the same yeah. thing. Like Sully's had the rebound and then it finds him and he ends up sinking the shot, except that was at the buzzer and the game ultimately meant nothing. But uh, this devastating for Kings fans. I'm sorry. I don't dislike you. Uh, I don't know where the Kings were on my power rankings, but I don't think they're very high in terms of teams you should hate. So uh, I, I hate that this had to be done. I hate that it probably helped the Lakers, but it sure did give me a nice chuckle on uh, April 5th. <laughs> the Kings were 22nd. They were, they were 22nd in your rankings. They actually improved. They were 20th to start the year. Then they then they went to 22nd. Yeah, it's was like, oh, the Celtics beat the brakes off them in the first game. <laughs> yeah, respect. It's probably, I don't even, actually, I don't even know if I gave them like an update blurb. I think I only did minor updates. I'm just sitting here thinking about how mad you specifically would be if Xavier. I say this shit all the time, though. Like, if I see shit like this happen, I am fair. I'm like, listen, if this happened to the Celtics, I'd be none too pleased. But the fact that it happened for the Celtics is just so. That means they're going to lose in the first round. That's what it means. We used up all our luck tonight. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up.
Uh, this this game rocked. Shout out Porzingis for being great. <clears throat> Shout out Tillman for <laughs> Tillman's a thumbnail. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. He's the thumbnail. <laughs> or maybe it's kind I of just funny. Put Sam Hauser on doesn't the Porzingis. Doesn't Porzingis like give you the vibes that like if you're like yo, do you want to like come over for a barbecue? He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, he, he seems was just like he's down. hanging out with the fans mid game. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, I did. Uh, Mark put out the the clip, and I tried to as well. Dude, he, we were supposed to get Porzingis podium, and then he just started talking in the locker room, but didn't come to the podium. <laughs> and then, uh, Jeff, who does PR, Jeff Twizzy does PR for the Celtics. He was like, "Yeah, uh, Pritchard and uh, Porzingis here, Tillman in the locker room." We get Joe, whatever. Joe's kid went to the podium with him. It was cute. It's fun. Uh, Joe went, and then Pritchard comes in like five minutes later while all the other like <clears throat> 1A tier one reporters in the locker room still. So it's just me, Bobby, Cam, Justin, Kari, and then Corral stuck around too for Pritchard. So it's just us. And so we, we talked to Pritchard. the round table with Pritchard. What the fuck? You guys should have fired dude. up a stream on the channel. Literally. No. And then Pritchard leaves, and we're sitting there, and Jeff's waiting for Porzingis. And I go, Jeff, who's here? Uh, and he goes, Porzingis at the, at the table. And I'm like, Person is in the locker room, and he goes, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "I see the video of him talking on Twitter right now." <laughs> and Jeff, and Jeff just goes, "Huh?" <laughs> he checks his phone, and he goes, "Unless I read it wrong, you read it." I'm like, "No, you read it right. I think you got duped." And he goes, "They just told me Tillman's getting ready. Is he in here?" And then two seconds later, he's like, "No, Tillman's in the locker room." He goes, "Let me check." And I go, "So are we?" Cam goes, "Are we done in here?" And Jeff just goes, "His phone." Yeah, I think we're done now. <laughs> we're done. Just let's just go. <laughs> we're like, okay, sure, we're done. This, uh, dude, this game was fucking delirious. <laughs> and I, it's, it just it uh, bled over into the press conferences. I love the vibes. And to Tillman's credit, the motherfucker was killing the crayon hand before the game. He, he was the crayon hands it. had him ready. That's what it was. <laughs> he probably was doing floaters over the fucking crayon hands when he was wide open on the drive. He was like, fucking cash, dude. This isn't even going to move the net. He was, he was like, I've had to go up against the crayon hands, and now you're telling me some bonus is the only motherfucker in my way? Poof, get out of here. Oh my god! This Sabonis is, uh... had one of those games where he put up numbers, but like thinking back on this game, I just think to myself, "Are we sure he's good?" Like I always <laughs> see the stat views of like he has like the most double doubles in a row since Wilt, and I'm like, "That what does he have to show for it though?" <laughs> he has Kings Reddit is... saying he needs to speak to the podium because he sucked. That's what he gets. Remember when we were like off camera, like we didn't. This wasn't a pod. We were like, "Damn, these games down the stretch are gonna suck. We're gonna have to bleed out content." This is perfect. This, this game fucking ruled. Yeah. And up until the fourth this quarter, was, I literally could not have cared less. Like It sucked. It sucked. Yeah. It was boring. And we weren't going to talk about anything. Like I, I was like drooling, trying to think about what to write for this game. And now I'm like, ah, perfect. Um, but, oh, dude, this was... That's so sick. This was this is the closest we might get to your article of like the Celtics should fuck around. <laughs> like, this you is- literally should have been like, so Joe, like, I know like Celtics Bugs kind of excite article went up today saying you guys should fuck around. Did you read it? <laughs> it looks like you read it. <laughs> this was genuinely the like this is as close as we could possibly hope. To uh, get. <laughs> I think Tatum might come off the bench. Because they they like uh, joked about it and I it's know. here. I don't know. I might if we get if we get a moment uh, where we get Tatum after a blowout or something before like the last game of the season. I'll ask him that. Hold me to that. I will ask him. Okay. All right. But I'm asking before the playoffs. So Tatum, you didn't do the regular season playoffs here, buddy. You coming off the bench? They get the Bulls. I in the hope first they round. have a Tatum team just in the first round the that you could come off the bench. <laughs> yeah, right. That, that's what I, dude. Hope. How funny! How funny would it be if they get the Bulls in the first round? They just play Pritchard and the fellas, and they just sweep them anyways. <laughs> like they just fully rest. And they just beat the Bulls. <laughs> Luke Cornette, yeah, like they're on. 30. It, it's Brad on the phone with like Adam Silver. He's like, like, okay, if like we manage to beat them without playing our starters, like, do we get a second round bye? <laughs> He's like negotiating. Oh, this rocked. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyways, because this this was a lot of fun for the two of us, as you could you could see. This is I'm crying. We went a half hour on a <laughs> nothing game. Any final thoughts? This is literally a preseason game. This was legitimately a preseason yeah. game. The, the actual yeah. players played for like two and a half quarters, and then Pritchard and the boys tried to close out the game, 
And, and they did. I mean, they won. So, yeah. They, they, Pritchard they and the boys better in the clutch than Tatum and the boys. Confirmed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video if you want more <laughs> content like this. <laughs> Subscribe to Have At Them Celtics if you're listening on audio platforms. Um, <clears throat> make sure uh, to follow us there and leave us five stars and a review if you're on Apple. And yeah, I'll let Sam prep it up. Hey, thank you very much for listening or watching. If you're watching, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel with the notification bell so you don't miss any more lovely pieces of art like this one coming at you at 5 a.m. every single day with something new. We have pods Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Game recaps like this one the morning after games. We're also live for Talk and Seas Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. We have Celts at the round table on Tuesdays around 6 p.m. And we are live for pregame half hour before each game. It's a blast. So come hang out. You can also find us on Spotify and Apple if you're there. Make sure you leave a five-star review. We would appreciate that very much. You can find us via email, hbtcpod at gmail.com. Who doesn't want to talk about this game? Send us what you thought. You can find us on socials at How About Them Seas, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. The Facebook is just the name of the podcast. Our streams are there. They're on YouTube, and they're on Twitter. Jack's Twitter is at Jack Simone NBA. Mine is at Sam LaFrance NBA. Pray for a Kings fan. That's it for us. Yeah.